Hi guys, welcome to this week's Sunday Science with your sports scientist, part of the 7 Day Sports Scientist series of blogs. Get following, liking, sharing, leave your comments below the video. Contact us on the email address for your free consultation with the online sports scientist. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, email us with any questions, any suggestions you've got. Let's go through this week's Sunday Science paper looking at diabetes and exercise interventions. It was a six month aerobic and resistance training intervention program. 50 participants between 40 to 65 years not being treated with insulin at the time. It was a varied exercise intervention, combined resistance and aerobic. Varied range of heart rates on the aerobic and a varied range of modalities as well. Quite high repetitions on the resistance exercise. Decrease in fat mass and an increase in lean body mass, muscle mass over six months. Although there was variability between participants probably because there was a big variety in the choice of exercise. Interestingly, a one standard deviation increase in baseline glucose levels after fasting was associated with an increase in lean body mass and a decrease in fat mass. So it would appear that exercise intervention are most effective in type 2 diabetics with elevated resting baseline glucose levels. And those without the elevated resting levels don't benefit as much. However, the wide variety in intervention needs to be considered. But nonetheless, exercise intervention is effective for type 2 diabetics. That's it for this week. We'll see you tomorrow for the start of a new week and Monday meals. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday.